The 2022 NFL regular season is almost upon us. The dog days are ending as today is the last day of training camp for the Las Vegas Raiders. So they spent that last day of training camp in a joint practice with the New England Patriots. This obviously isn't the Super Bowl winning version of the Patriots. Quarterback Tom Brady is with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and offensive coordinator Josh McDaniels is now the head coach of the Raiders. But Bill Belichick still presides over that team and they finished number 6 in scoring offense and number 2 in scoring defense last year. So there was some resistance on both sides of the ball. It's not like the Raiders went up against the New York Jets, so they can easily see where they are as a team. The offense was popping as receiver Devontae Adams and quarterback Derek Carr never lost that connection. For the second straight day, Adams had his way with everyone the Patriots lined up on him. And yeah, he burnt guys deep again. Fellow receiver Mac Hollins got in on the deep ball game too. Yep, the offensive line gave Carr enough time to find Adams and Hollins deep down the field. Colton Miller was in his left tackle spot and Jermaine Illuminor was at right tackle. Andre James was at center, Lester Cotton was at right guard, and rookie third round pick Dylan Parham was at left guard. I picked Theron Munford to take the right tackle spot for a minute, but he's hurt now and Illuminor has looked good. Many of you have been worried about the pressure the offensive line has given up in these preseason games, but the Raiders have yet to put the whole starting offensive line out there for one of them. But they had to protect Carr in their scrimmages with the Patriots over the last couple of days. I'm not saying the Raiders have a top 5 offensive line, but they are functional and will get better, so the panic over the unit is unnecessary. I know it's easy for some of you to get all worried about the defensive line since the Raiders had some injuries there of late, but they got nose tackle Jonathan Hankins and defensive tackle Bilal Nichols back. So not only are they playing the run, but having Nichols inside turns the killers the Raiders have outside loose when rushing the passer. Look at this chart here by Andrew Callahan of Patriots.com. First, he commented that the Patriots bombed in his first 11-on-11 period. Stevenson run. Myers bubble screen, no gain. Sack. Myers bubble screen, sack. Henry catch. Montgomery inside run. Timeout. Incomplete Aguilar. Sack. That's great for the Raiders, but way too many sacks for the Patriots. Plus, there were other reports that said the pocket was constantly collapsing on quarterback Mac Jones. Yeah. Max Crosby, Chandler Jones, and company were putting that heat on them, and the Patriots had a top 10 offensive line in 2021. The media picked the Raiders not to do so well because they declared the offensive line and defense to be major weak spots, and this caused a big portion of Raider Nation to panic. Go get Daryl Williams. Go get Ndamukong Su. Then I told everyone that would listen, you haven't even seen the starting defense and offensive line yet. I don't think Josh McDaniels came all the way over here to lose. Then lo and behold, the Raiders put their starters in with the Patriots starters in joint practices and everything's working out all right. Stop panicking, y'all. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.